Meaning, oh, my hair's a mess. Good Lord. A little bit of a late night stream here tonight. I see I've got a couple of people in. Uh, so if you're there, please feel free to chime in and say hello. Uh, this is a little bit impromptu tonight uh, for a couple of reasons I'm doing this. Uh, one of them is that I normally have art block on Wednesday nights, and uh, I was unable to do it tonight, um, unfortunately due to my other job <laughs> I had to go in tonight. Uh, normally I have Wednesday nights off, but it was just random bad luck that I had to, that it landed on Wednesday night. So I did a stream this afternoon. Uh, I did uh, just a, a little stream where I did some painting for about an hour and a half. And uh, so this evening I thought I'd kind of come in here. The other reason I wanted to do this is I wanted to get a little bit more use out of um, Talk Studio uh, because uh, in a couple of days uh, that subscription is going to cancel and I won't be using this anymore. I'm just going to be using either OBS or Streamlabs OBS to broadcast from for a little while. Um, mainly because it doesn't cost anything, where this costs money. But at least with Streamlabs, I can, I can go out in uh, 1080p. The only thing I have to figure out is how to include guests. Apparently there is a way to do that. You can on both OBS and, um, uh, and um, Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS, you can have a guest on there. Uh, how that works, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I had it going one night, but there was a problem with the audio. Uh, but it is, um, it is apparently doable, but you can only have one person at a time, which would be fine. Because uh, if I can do that, and if I can still do Art Block with that, that would work. If not, uh, for Art Block, I may have to use, um, I may have to go back to StreamYard, which is, use their free format for that. Um, which works, it's just in 720 and it looks a little crappy. But uh, Junebug, how are you, sir? Good to see you. I'm just, uh, I'm just in for a short bit tonight, maybe, maybe a half hour at the very most. Um, again, so just to kind of make use out of this and um, uh, just have a very brief video. I might do a drawing sample, I don't know, but I just kind of want to pop in. Uh, see who's on. If there's anybody, usually I get some people from the uh, from the West Coast that'll pop in and say uh, um, say hello. Yeah, Streamyard, um, Streamyard, and Talk Studio, which I'm using now, is essentially the same thing. Uh, Talk Studio, uh, I was paying for for a little bit um, because I wanted to have some of the extra bells and whistles, and I wanted it in 1080p. And without it, it's 720. And it kind of looks grainy, especially since I have low light here at night. Um, and I didn't really want to plug in a bunch of extra lights for a couple hours because that costs money for my hydro bill. Uh, but <laughs> but um, in 1080, though, this looks this looks fine. Um, but uh, for StreamYard, if I'm just, if I have Enrique, um, yeah, if I'm using StreamYard for Art block on Wednesday nights. I'm just ch uh, chatting with my friend Enrique, and um, we might just go with that. But we'll see how that goes. See, just using OBS is um, is free. <laughs> now, StreamYard is free as well. Uh, so is the base model of Talk Studio, which is almost identical to StreamYard. Uh, but again, it's 720, and I just find it doesn't look very good, especially if I'm going to do art. It kind of looks, it kind of looks a bit sloppy. That's the only thing. I don't know why it bothers. Whoops! Whoa, knocking my desk. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but the 720 I find just, just uh, doesn't look, looks grainy. But it kind of adds a grindhouse effect. I guess so. <laughs> it can do. Um, I just, I don't know. I find, I guess it just, it looks a little bit. Um, some of it looks a little fuzzy for my liking, especially if I'm doing an art demo. I like it a little bit crisp. If it's just me sitting here and I'm a talking head, it kind of doesn't matter as much. I know viewers like quality. Um, they like 1080p. Um, but for the most part, I think if, if the information is engaging enough, it shouldn't matter that much. But uh, I know a lot of people seem to like that. But I'm... Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not kind of really sure what to do. I, I do. Um, I can't keep for, forking out money for this, um, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pay for. You know, using either Streamyard or Talk Studio. I think it's. I think it's a little bit much they're asking for, 
And I've looked at, I've tried to find other similar forms, similar systems, um, similar streaming systems. I mean, they're handy in that you can just, at a click of a button, I can add text. I can add a, a thing. Actually, I forgot to include this. Like, I can add, um, I can add this. You know, it, it's all, it's all right there. And um, it's very easy to use. Uh, whereas OBS and stream, um, Streamlabs OBS, you have to um, you have to prearrange it all. You can do some nice things with some nice transitions. If I'm doing a demonstration, I can have myself in like a circle or a shape in the bottom of the screen. Uh, you know, you can add extra text in places that you can't do with this. Um, so there is a little more flexibility that way, and you can, you know, jump for, from, you can set up different scenes so you can change what you're doing. But um, uh, I know what you mean, I've come to, I know what you mean, people have come to expect to have the most expensive cameras. Yeah, I know, expensive lighting, the most expensive microphone when you're doing YouTube. It's kind of true. I think people forget that, you know, we're just, most of us are poor. <laughs> we don't. We don't have all the bells and whistles right away, and that's why people tend to gravitate, I think, to the bigger YouTubers because they have. They've now worked their way up, and they have all the bells and whistles. But now they have all the audience, right? They, so it's hard to earn people's interest when you're kind of low quality. Which is, I like doing pre-recorded videos. I'm going to get back into doing like actual YouTube videos that are. Uh, recorded and edited uh, with with uh, some production value and and uploaded in that way maybe get a little substance going that way so but I'll see what I can do um, I need to do a little fixing up with the studio in the background too it's looking a little a little sloppy at the moment but I'll have to see what I can do with that I mean, I've got actually pretty decent equipment. I've got two webcams that are both good quality webcams. I can do 1080p. Uh, I could use my phone. The phone tends to be a little problematic, sometimes using that because people tend to text and call, and that's um, intrusive on when you're trying to, to do a live. I've got a pretty good microphone. It's it's a Snowball, Snowball Ice Blue, um, I believe it's called. So, you know, I've got decent stuff, and I have a, a lavalier mic if I want to use it. It's not great, but it works. Uh, so I have decent enough stuff. Uh, I have enough to actually make quality videos. It's not hard. Um, look at a guy like me trying to start my own business. I mean, I have a 4K camera. That's nice. But I'm so accent prone. I've used it twice. <laughs> no phone. I hear you on that. I'm... Very accident prone. <laughs> I have been, the past week, I have been banging my left elbow to the point I can barely use my left arm. I don't know why it seems to be my left elbow. I, I hit it a couple of times, like uh, just going around a corner. And, uh, you know, I hit it once, hurt myself, and started to heal a bit, banged it again. Started to heal, hit it a third time, and I've even knocked it a fourth. wasn't so bad, but still, when now that it's really sore, I've done something to it. I can't, I can't grip anything properly with my my left hand, so it's really obnoxious, and I'm, I'm it still really hurts. <laughs> so it's it's making my job difficult. I'm terribly accident prone. I've like broken things at work already, and yeah, I hear you on that one. I, I want to go to Montreal next month, and I have a very nice. Um, I have the most. I have an iPad Air, and it's the current version of the iPad Air, and um, which I think is the fifth generation. And I want to take it with me to Montreal, uh, but I'm a little worried. <laughs> it's an expensive device, so I'm hesitant. But I don't know. We'll see. But this way, my 4K camera is pretty cheap because I found a great deal, but it is three years old and I want to keep it because I want it to last. Yeah, I hear that. Exactly. Yep. I know what you mean. That's why I'm, I'm hesitant to take things with me to places. But um, yeah, I, like I said, I have a nice iPad and I want to take my iPad with me to Montreal, but I'm not sure if I should or not, but I don't want to take just my phone. Like I'd like to have my iPad for when I uh, get some pictures and kind of work with some things online. But yeah, I'm, I'm hesitant about it. It'll stay in the hotel. Like if I go out and around 
view of them, the, the iPad staying in the hotel. But then you get worried about like, is it going to get stolen? Is it going to? Yeah. So yeah, um, that's my concern. But um, anyways, I guess I've only got there's, there's you and I think one other person watching. I was kind of hoping I might get a couple of people from the West Coast in here, but um, I don't see very many people in yet. Uh, I thought maybe somebody else might say hello. Uh, I'm going to just check something on my my telephone here. Um, Because I know I have to be, uh, I'm gonna be chatting. I have, a, I have to kind of call a friend of mine later on, so I want to uh, just make sure. Unless he's trying to reach me, I did tell him I'd be in alive until about two thirty. Um, but uh, I just want to make sure he's not trying to contact me. So why is my hair still look wet? I washed it like seven hours ago. <laughs> Looks like it's still drying. So yeah, I'm just. This is just. Um, I I did want to kind of. I've talked a bit about. Um, I'm just gonna lock in the safe. Just pay the extra money. Oh right, that's right. They do have the safes at the hotel. Oh yeah, I should see how much that is. I mean, if it's an extra like thirty bucks or something, that's fine. That's a good idea. I forgot all about that. If, as long as it's big enough, I've seen some that are kind of small. But if they're big enough, um, I'll definitely do that. I forgot all about that. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, I'll definitely look into that. <laughs> yeah, I, I should now. I want to know how much they cost. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably put it in that um, while I'm out. out there. I'm only going to be staying in a hotel. See, the first night I wanted to stay in a hostel because it's just cheaper. Uh, and then the second night, I'll actually be in a hotel because uh, the. Um, uh, but if I keep, I'm a little hesitant about that. But I'll just keep my bag kind of with me. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I can find a super cheap hotel for the first night. It'll be fine. I get a nicer one the second night. I'm going to be visiting with a friend of mine. Um, so like my first night, I'm going to my first night I'll be by myself, and the following evening I'm supposed to meet him. Go for dinner, chat, see a little bit of Montreal, do something. Then the next day, depending on the train, leaves, probably the third day is when the child will head back. But I go to Montreal every year. Like I've seen most of it anyway. It's got lots of pictures, but I still like to go around and see some of the downtown. So uh, but I was thought, I don't know, I was going to try drawing. Good, I got the setup properly. Let's see if I can add it to the stream. Who else is there? There is, oh, there's nobody now. So, um, Junebug, uh, did you, I, I'm not going to be on for terribly long. Uh, I did you if you're still there. Um, did you want to hop on live for a little bit w with me and just say hello? Or no pressure, you don't have to. I just thought I'd extend the invite since I'm just kind of uh, just kind of not really doing much tonight. But if you want, I can. Um... I can give you a link. Which one's better? Right now, that is. Do a little bit of sketching here.
Thank you. I appreciate it. But I, how is she going to try to go to sleep soon just because almost one in the morning? Okay, no problem. Yeah, I understand that completely. It's actually almost two here, and I should be should be turning in pretty soon. How you doing, Big Bad Mama? Good to see you. Maybe sometime I'll have you on. If I'm on earlier, I'll, I'll try and have you on. If I can sort out having the guest thing on the other system, I'll try and uh, I'll, I'll try and have you uh, have you in sometime. But if you're turning in, uh, it's good to see you. We'll definitely chat. I still want to talk to you more um, about the thing thing. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll definitely talk soon for sure. But this is just um, this is just a bit of casual night, a casual evening here, at Big Ben. Well, I wasn't. Um, um, Insomnia. I refuse to take sleeping pills. I hear that. I do. I um, kind of have it as well, and I don't. I don't want to get hooked on sleeping pills. I would much rather see if I can deal with it properly. And um, yeah, I, I, the only thing I might take once in a while is a little bit of melatonin, but um, I don't like that. That looks terrible. But that's like that's the most I'll do. But I don't like taking. I did take them at one time, and they kind of messed me up the next day a little bit. I would prefer not to take them if I can. So, but if you're turning in, I may not. I may not stay on long. But. Um, I'm going to try to drink milk. Okay. I don't know if it's just getting so expensive because of inflation. It is. Yep. Yeah, that is true. I can't drink milk anyways. I have to, I have issues with um, animal milk. I just, I just drink... Uh, either um, almond milk or oat milk or something like that I usually do because it's easier on my stomach uh, five bucks for milk yeah same here yeah actually it's a little over five here I think that looks wrong I'm not in a groove tonight here for drawing. I thought I would be, but you know, I'm not. Uh, it's not kind of coming together very good. Not happening here. Is there anyone else doing a live tonight? I don't know if um I should have a quick look. Sometimes Josh is on somebody's some uh, on a bit late, but no, I do not see anybody on here tonight. Oh, <laughs> hi. Yeah, thank you. I just I just decided to open this one up tonight here. <laughs> My sketchbook. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be staying on too much too much longer. I um I do really like Sketchbook Pro and I like to start off drawings with it because it is it is a nice simple program. I can I feel like I'm actually just doing a rough sketch in this program, but uh, when I go to do finished drawings, I will transfer over to um, Clip Studio. I'll take the drawing from here and do it in Clip Studio. But um, it's cheap and it's it's easy to use. Fries, Dr. Pepper was thirteen bucks. Yeah, isn't that the truth? I know, eh? I um, hey, here in Canada, actually, that can be over fifteen. The area I'm in, anyways. I I'm near Toronto. I'm in Burlington, right near Toronto. Hmm. 
Somebody's trying to message me. I don't think there's ever a time. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I, uh, uh, if I'm doing a live, somebody will try and contact me. I could sit for hours with free time, plenty of time to talk to people and nobody else will be available. But then as soon as I'm busy, that's whenever he tries to contact me and call me and text me. As soon as I get busy with something, as soon as I go on a live, I get in a groove working on something. That's when everybody wants to talk. But then as soon as I'm free, everyone else is busy, which is why I never get anything done. That's why I don't get... I've got people waiting for commissions and everything. And it's like I'm either called into work or, or if you want to talk. I never, my time is not my own. It is not my own. And that's why I don't, I, I never get anything done. And it's really frustrating. And I don't know how to, and if you tell people no, they kind of get upset. And I don't know <laughs> to deal with that. <laughs> but yeah. Or eating my grass. <laughs> you know, I actually started making my own bread. I, I have a bread maker. Um, and uh, so I did that. Um, I found ways of just like chickpeas. I really like chickpeas. I can do a lot with them. And uh, I buy them in large bags, dehydrated and rehydrate them because it's cheaper that way. Um, I just find ways to just buy bulk food cheap and um, do what I can with it. I look for sales when I can. I'm trying not to eat crap anymore, although I'm kind of failing at it, but I'm trying not to. But yeah, I hear that. So he used to make his own bread. Yeah, he made really good honey wheat bread. Oh yeah, I've got a recipe for that somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I I got um, the thrift store always has bread makers all the time. I finally bought one, sat for a couple of years until COVID hit. I actually sat right through COVID. Um, and then after prices started going up, when I saw how much bread loaves of bread went for like over two dollars, and I'm not paying two dollars for a loaf of bread. And I went, I have this bread maker. How much is it? Like how much is it to make a loaf of bread? I paid fifteen bucks for the thing. Uh, I had to go online to dig up the instructions. It was an old model from 2012. Fortunately, I actually found it. Uh, found a, found the recipes and how to use it. So I went through the instructions, read the ingredients. It was all pretty straightforward: flour, salt, margarine, water. Um, and yeast, that was the main thing, was yeast, a bit of sugar, yeast. The yeast was a bit expensive, but you can make a lot with it. There, there's actually bread maker yeast, and I bought that. And um, you can get bread flour, which makes it really soft, or all-purpose, if you want a little more dense. And uh, it was so easy. You just throw everything in the bread maker and leave it, put it, just put it in the order it tells you to put it in, but it takes like 10 minutes. And then I turn the thing on and leave it for about three and a half hours, and I have bread. <laughs> it's great. Um, it makes big loaves, though, bigger than usual. So lost a lot of weight because I've gotten older. I can't eat as much as I used to. Yep, I know that. I actually have managed to lose a lot. Yeah, same here. Uh, although I put a little bit on recently, but I'm going to try and lose again. The kid in high school now is officially graduated to budgie. <laughs> yeah, I've always been kind of pudgy. <laughs> I still am. Although I did lose a lot of weight back in 2014, 2015. I don't know how. But I was exercising more, and I kind of went through this phase where I, I stopped. I sort of became vegan, actually, just because I have so many issues with certain foods that all of a sudden started catching up with me. And... Um, Uh, I lost a lot of weight, um, but I was also exercising and working out, and I kind of, I, I kind of miss it actually. Uh, I'm trying to get back into starting, but again, it's the scheduling it is.
But I think um, this is looking terrible. It is just I'm just not in a groove tonight here to draw. But I think I might. Um, I may, I may just end up calling it here for the night. Uh, I, I did say I was just going to stream for a little bit, and it's is two o'clock. Uh, a friend of mine wants to talk to me and wants to contact me, and I should chat with him for a bit. So. I might do that. Um, but thanks for um, my sketchbook. If you ever get a chance, if you're still there, if you ever get a chance to come back uh, sometime, I do use this program frequently, so feel free to come back sometime. Um, I'll just wait. I know Junebug, it looked like you were starting to type a message there. I'll wait and see if it comes up. But... Actually, I'm going to switch this back. I don't think I'm going to close down here soon. On the screen, it said spotlight for a minute. I don't know what that is. All right. All right. Um, well, unless there was anything else, uh, I think I'm going to call it here for the night. Um, I just kind of want to pop in and say hello. I might try, I'll probably try and go on tomorrow if I don't do, either do a pre-recorded video, I'll try and shoot something, or I might, I like going on live. I might try and do another live tomorrow for a little bit. Uh, I'll see. If I do, it'll be in the afternoon, because I'm working like every night this week. There's, there's some, we're short-staffed again at work. One person gets sick, and all of a sudden, everybody's like on call. Too too short staffed, that place. But what do I do? And so, but um, yeah, I'm going to be on probably later. I say tomorrow. I guess it's technically later today because it's two a.m. here. Um, but unless there's anything else, Junebug Films. Anybody else? The Big Man Mom is still there. Um, thanks anyways for popping in always nice to chat with everybody we'll be in touch oh Adam hey <laughs> you're, you're just in time for me to say good night um, uh, I'm just I'm kind of just shutting down now actually um, there's also somebody texting me who wants to chat so um, I'm just going to go chat with him for a little bit if you're up for a bit I'll try and contact you in a little while if you're still awake for, for a bit but um yeah, I'm, I'm also going to go live uh, tomorrow. And Paul, when he shows up, I'm just about to like shut down and everybody shows up. I'm just about to close down for the night. <laughs> um, it seems to be the way, like I start the live and I think nobody's going to show up and I'm almost a half hour will go by. And as soon as it's like, well, nobody's here. <laughs> I start to close and everybody, so it's like I have to give it about a half hour before everybody shows up. <laughs> it's so weird. But yeah, I'm sorry, Paul. I'm going to be on tomorrow afternoon. If there's anybody around tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to try and try and be on live again. So uh, if you guys are around, I know a lot of people work, etc. cetera, but um, if you guys are around, then I'll, uh, you know, please come and say hello. So, but I'm going to call it, I'm going to say good night and um, I'll talk to everybody again very soon. This was just very impromptu, just short, just to say hello and, and get one more night's use out of, out of, um, out of this program before <laughs> he canceled the subscription. So, so um, thanks anyways, everybody for popping. And it's always nice to see you and uh, we'll talk again very, very soon. All right. Have a good night, everybody.